Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Senior Market Analyst. In this video, I'm going to take you through the week ahead. We're going to have a little look at the data coming out this week, the currency strength meter, as well as some charts to watch. So going on to the data this week, we can see we've actually got quite a high impact news week, especially uh, towards the middle and end of the week. You can see Wednesday and Thursday in particular, full of different types of data out of Australia, out of New Zealand, as well as China and Europe. So lots of data coming out. The RBNZ looking to keep interest rates at five and a half percent. That's going to be something that's going to be a big talking point going into this week. Considering the fact that the New Zealand dollar is actually quite a strong currency last week, can that momentum continue if we do see the RBNZ hold rates at five and a half percent? We've also got manufacturing PMI data coming out of China, potential uptick from 49 spot five up to 49 spot six. So there's a potential for uh, a continuation uh, of the good data there from China. And we've got US data coming more towards the end of the week with the uh, GDP quarter on quarter as well as unemployment claims and ISM manufacturing PMI. And then we finish the week off with a Federal Reserve Chairman Powell speech. So lots of high impact data. You know, what we saw last week was a little bit of that risk off sort of kind of sentiment return. Risk on then started to creep back in towards the end of the week. But will this kind of high impact data push the markets towards that risk off environment? Going on to the strength meter then, we've actually seen some big changes. We can see that we've seen a little bit of a change to Europe or the euro. We can see that actually we were in that kind of plus five area and we've seen a little bit of a decline from that plus five into to the threes here so what we talk about a lot on our channel is the fact that when we come up to this high area on the currency strength meter we're looking for those potential reversals and we're starting to see that on the euro and the australian dollar which was plus seven last week not a huge change to the australian dollar to be honest so there might be a little bit of strength still here for now but euro potentially want to watch on the reversal side of things from the weak side we can actually see that the pound has been one of the uh, stronger currencies of last week so potentially there's a, uh, some opportunities on euro pound ahead this week but we will reveal more in the upcoming analysis for this week we can see that the us dollar has gone from those plus fives all the way down into the minus sixes now so the dollar a very very weak currency but again in that sort of reversal zone can we start to see maybe the dollar have a little bit of a comeback uh, in the next few weeks so what does that bring us to have a little look at well we're going to kick it off with the US dollar index we can see that the dollar index ever since we retested that 107 those October highs price has been on a bearish decline we've taken out real key support points including the 104.5 spot 50 and the 104 spot 50 and now we're heading towards the 103s which were these lows that formed back between August and September of this year so are we going to see a move into the 103 now it's what happens at this point where we can determine what could happen to the US dollar if we get a uh, rejection in here price may want to try and retest back up towards the 104s or the 104 spot 50 if we breach this level could price then head down to the next set of lows in august which were formed around about that 102 level moving on then to the next chart of interest you can see that we've got the euro us dollar we look at the euro dollar in particularly in inverse to the us dollar index obviously not many people trade the us dollar index but a lot of people trade euro us dollar so whenever you look at the dollar index and you want to look for those key areas of support and resistance then you want to be looking as well at your euro us dollar obviously euro heavily weighted to the us dollar index now if price does go and search that sort of 103 level on the dollar index it could drive euro us dollar into the one spot zero nine eight six this was a monthly level and a point of control on the monthly chart what we did was we took our volume profile from this high to this low this was the most volume traded level in that period and i'm expecting price to go and reach that level of resistance if obviously we see sellers coming in here it could drive euro us dollar lower back into those potential swing lows that formed recently around about the one spot zero eight twenties up to the one spot zero eight fifties 
If we breach this level, then the previous swing highs are going to come into question at that point, which was the highs that formed back into July. But that's going to all depend on how the market reacts in and around that level. Now, dollar yen was a very interesting market to watch this week. I'm on the H4 time frame here, and we can see obviously we had some aggressive moves lower. That was in line with some of that US dollar weakness that we're seeing in the market. But also, we actually saw the yen strengthen quite significantly. Now, price rebounded from some daily lows around about the 147 spot 50 level and we drove back up towards these recently formed swing highs on the four hour chart at 149 spot 75 since then price has struggled to kind of trade through that level and in fact we've kind of consolidated here so i'll be interested to see where does price move this week do we actually see risk off sentiment return with regards to the amount of high impact data? And do we see price head back towards these current lows here at the 147 spot 50 or even into this nice little area of demand around about that 148 handle? Alternatively, if we breach 149 spot 75 and 150, it could lead price to come all the way back up towards the 151. So dollar yen is going to be one to watch going into uh, this week, I feel, especially with that dynamic of the risk on risk off sentiment that we're seeing in this market. Going on to pound US dollar then. So I'm going to finish it on pound. Pound was the one of the stronger currencies last week. We are at one spot 26 resistance currently. But if we breach that 126, we could easily head up to the one spot 27.25. We've got dollar weakness at the moment, pound strength. We could see a move all the way back up into this one spot 27. 25 level this week a rejection here at 126 we've got support around about the one spot 25 one spot 24 75 zone that we can see drawn here from these previous daily lows so support could be held here uh, because the pound is so strong Altern um, alternatively we may breach this 126 and head up towards that 127 zone so pound definitely one to watch going into this week thanks for watching the video update i really hope you enjoyed it if you did subscribe to our youtube channel to see some more forex trading content see you soon